Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, episode 4, the screencast where you can learn Python fundamentals in a convenient, bite-sized chunk. I'm Ryan Shea, and today we'll be learning an introduction to lists. Let's get started. I've already entered the interactive Python shell. Lists are a type of compound data type within Python, of which there are several. Compound data types are types which include other types. I'll show you an example now. Let's assign the my underscore list variable to um, a new list. The way that you define a new list is by using the open square bracket and then specifying a comma separated list of values. You can put a string, let's see, another string, an integer, or a float, all within the same list. The type of my list is of type list. You can access a specific element of a list just as you did with a string by using square brackets as well. My list element 0 is 1. And if I look at the type of that, you can see that the type of 1 is a string. But 3 is a float. One thing that's very nice that you can do with a list is slice it. The same way that we sliced a string, you can slice a list. So if I wanted to just show my underscore list of from the beginning of the string to the third element or from the beginning to the end, or from the beginning to the ne next last element, you can do that. But what's a little bit different about lists than strings is that lists are mutable. Strings are immutable. So we can actually make modifications to a list in a couple of different ways. If I wanted to change the the first element of this list, I could say my list element 0 equals, uh, let's just change it to the integer 1. And now we see 1, 2, 3, 4.0. That's our list. You can use slices in assignments as well. So if I wanted to change the first two elements of this list, I could say my list from the beginning to 2 and then replace that with let's say uno dos uno dos 3 4 a convenient way to use these slices uh, can be to actually remove pieces of a list or clear the list entirely so if I wanted to get rid of the the last, uh, the last element of this list, I could say my list of, let's say, from one in on the right all the way to the end, and let's replace that with an empty list. And you see I've popped off the last element of that list. If I want to clear a list entirely, I can do my list of from that means from the beginning all the way to the end, and I want to substitute in a blank list. Perhaps one of the most oft used methods of the list type is called append. So I can take my list, and this will be the first time we've seen this, you put a dot and you call the append method on this and you and you can append to the end of this list some kind of object. In this case I'll use a string. Uh, I believe we're on 4. Now we have 4 on the end of there. 3, 2,
In the same way that we could determine the length of a string, we can also use the built-in len function on my list to see the number of elements that I have. I have three. Notice this isn't the number of the last index, which would be two, zero, one, two for those three elements. It's the actual number of elements that are in that list. That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org.